body of Amazulu Queen Regent Mantfombe Dlamini Zulu is to be collected by members of the Amazulu and Eswatini royal families. This evening, the Queen passed away at the Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg last week. Cause of her death is unclear, but post-mortem results are pending. The Queen's remains will be planted at a ceremony at the Kwa Kange Lamang Kengani Royal Palace in Nongoma, KwaZulu-Natal, tomorrow evening. A succession battle is very much underway over who should ascend to the throne following the death of King Goodwill Zuelitini Kabega Zulu earlier this year. Now, our reporter Mangoba Mtkunu is at a Johannesburg hotel. He joins me now. Mangoba, uh, the delegation, has it arrived yet? Well, so at this particular moment, uh, that delegation has not arrived. But uh, I have been speaking to one of the members of uh, that delegation, and uh, they are telling us that they are now on the N17. They've just passed uh, uh, Amelo a few hours ago, and we do understand that they are now approaching Springs, making their way here to Gauteng, where they are expected to collect the mortal remains of Her Majesty, the late Queen... Uh, uh, the late Queen, Manthombi uh, Zulu, uh, the, tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what we do also understand, Sal, is that um, part of that delegation will include some uh, uh, senior members of uh, the Zulu royal family as well as uh, members from the Eswatini uh, royal family. Of course, we recall that uh, the Queen Regent herself was a princess from Eswatini and uh, she was uh, a daughter of uh, King Sopuza and uh, the brother of the current reigning monarch, yeah. King Mswati III. So he has also sent a team from uh, Swaziland who are going to be part of this delegation to come and collect the mortal remains of Her Majesty uh, tomorrow morning. We do understand that they'll leave quite early here from this hotel to make their way to the Hillbro Mortuary where the body of Her Majesty is currently uh, being uh, uh, kept. And uh, also we do understand that uh, that delegation will then make its way past the Mill Park Hospital where some traditional rites will then be carried uh, in, in accordance with, of course, the Zulu tradition uh, before Her Majesty then makes her way back to the palace of Kwakangela Mankengane in Kwanongoma tomorrow morning. All right, so this delegation uh, representing members of the Zulu royal family but also the Eswatini royal family coming through to Johannesburg, picking up her mortal uh, remains um, and then he heading home for the funeral which is going to happen on Thursday. Are, are we expecting mourners at any key points in this process on her journey home? Well, certainly, Sally, earlier on, I did speak to the head of Izinduna here in Gauteng, Induna Mthongo. And uh, from the conversation that I had with uh, Induna, what he told me is that uh, they will be meeting as Izinduna here in Gauteng, of course, to go uh, to the Hillbrow Mortuary, where they will be uh, paying their last respects to Her Majesty. And also, we do hear that uh, some of the Amabutu, as well as the maidens, are expected to also converge outside the mortuary. We do understand that... Uh, even tonight, there might be a, a sort of a ceremony uh, or a morning ceremony that might be held there tonight uh, uh, in honor of uh, the late Queen. But of course, at this particular moment, what we are hearing is that there have been some concern around the issue of COVID-19 and the fact that uh, events like this could possibly be super spreaders. So at this particular moment, we do understand that no permission has been granted for such an event to take place tonight. But uh, what we are hearing is that uh, from as early as five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, that's when the Amabuto or the Izinduna are going to be gathering at uh, uh, Guamai Mai Hostel and uh, they'll be making their way from Guamai Mai to the Hillbro Mortuary where they'll then gather outside uh, as Her Majesty's body will be uh, collected and received by the Zulu royal family. And uh, we do also understand that uh, they might also accompany some of uh, the members of the royal family to Mill Park Hospital where uh, those uh, traditional rites will be carried out. But uh, in terms of the numbers, Sally, what they are telling us at this particular point is that there was a request that was made by Izinduna for all the Amabuto here in Gauteng in particular to be uh, allowed to come and mourn uh, their queen and uh, the queen regent of the Zulu nation. But uh, of course, due to those COVID-19 concerns, uh, the, the, those uh, plans, however, you know, were, were thwarted by some of the officials. So mm. we are expecting a, a crowd of people to be there outside uh, the mortuary, but uh, not quite a large number of people as, per as 
perhaps as we would have seen uh, during the planting of His Majesty the King, uh, Goodwill Gabbe Guzulu. But uh, certainly, Sally, we are expecting to see some of those Amabutu as well as the maidens uh, to come tomorrow morning to bid and to pay their last respects uh, to the late uh, Queen Re uh, Regent. Well, thank you so much uh, for keeping us updated on that story. That was our reporter, Mangoba Mtunu. He is outside of Johannesburg, a hotel, telling us that that royal delegation uh, is about an hour or so outside Johannesburg. They're on their way, and they will uh, take uh, the late Queen home tomorrow morning.